Greetings and welcome adventurers to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Orcs of the Underdark Enhanced Edition. When last we left off, we had managed to get to the third level of Undermountain, an area that's clearly under construction. Well, that and there's also some Orbeans being held in captivity by the Queen. And there's more Drow Guards. Finding all the neat stuff. Very gargoyle boots. Very useful. A laughing blade. Not for the victim of a laughing blade finds anything humorous about it. These items are created by the master illusionist Daniel Suzak, who wanted an interesting twist on the hedge maids he built. Several automatons were equipped with weapons and heroes accepting his challenge had to battle them to the uh, them in the maze and their own senses. Hoover was eventually jailed after several deaths on his estate. Yeah. Probably not that much of a surprise. Yeah, I'll take the boots. You can keep the blade. Potion of strength. The red dagger and armor would be nice, but it's heavy, and I don't think Dalen can use heavy. No, no, he can. But it also would reduce his dexterity bonus, and I kind of don't want to take that away. Uh, right, let's move. Gaumagus. Do I have... Sacrifice some spells to do some healing. Places of dexterity, alright. Check a plus one and a staff of command. Take it. Alright, there's the Formian Queen. Much to your surprise, this creature addresses you in the common tongue. Thank you for releasing me, elven creature. You are elven, are you not? I have trouble distinguishing between you bipeds. You speak common? I am the queen of the Sformium colony, and as such I have learned to master what you call speech. My workers, however, are only part of the collective mind and can only communicate their, through their thoughts. Is there some kind of reward for freeing you? You have the gratitude of the colony, and I declare you to be friend of the hive. You have saved me from the drow, and, I, and when the time comes, I will repay your action. Now I must return to the hive. The colony without a queen cannot long survive. I must return before my followers wither and die. Goodbye, elven creature. We will meet again. And she burrows away. Good, that's one thing done. Expected ally. Yep, descent into on the mountain. That's all correct. Ooh, we're not that far off from leveling up. Right, let's keep going a little bit further. See if there's anything else I can loot before I save. Or where I rest, rather. That's the word I was looking for. We did expend a lot of spells there.
and I could use the jazz, but it doesn't seem worth it at this particular point in time. Have a look at the slave pens to see if there's anything they're left behind there. But I'm fairly certain all the four minions have fled. And there's nothing left to be found here. Let's double back through the ruins and head over to where the drow camp is that we can see across the, uh, the underground pool. Apparently they have some sort of siege equipment set up over there. Get in here. And rest up. So, uh, we have Parisus of Dexterity plus 3, we can now upgrade those, since we have pretty much an unlimited use for Dexterity. You have no gloves, but you have Belt of Agility. Well, the braces would be better than the belt you currently have. Giving you extra agility. Do this stack. You have 18 now. Oh, they stack. Nice. Oh, yeah. You also probably would not need anything. I mean, I still need to find something that will give you plenty of uh, arcane spell chance without uh, weighing you down. That's not what I want to do, game. Nope, we are getting help. The full and queen tilts her head forward by way of greeting. And so we meet again, Elton Creature. As we promised, the time has come for the Hive to repay you for freeing me from the drow. Pay me? How? To the south is a drow camp. If you enter, you will be forced in terrible battle against Dark Elves. A battle you may not survive. But we know a way to avoid this confrontation. In the northeast corner of this room is a hidden tunnel my people have dug beneath the earth. This tunnel leads to the chamber beyond, bypassing the drug camp entirely. Deacon likes this ID, boss. Now is nasty. Sneaking past is much better than fighting them. What if the channel collapses? What if we get lost down there? What if there's no air? If you wish, one of my colony can guide you through the tunnel and past the drow. We have to fill the tunnel behind you, so you will not be able to use it to come back this way. Uh, I accept your offer. Good choice, boss. Dark people look scary, but Deacon bets it's much nicer than the drow. Yarhawk shakes his head, his face noticeably pale. I think this is a bad idea. After this elven creature, the colony's debt to you is repaid. Go to the passage in the northeast corner, and one of my colony will appear to guide you through the tunnel. While you go on through the tunnel, my colony will attack the drow. They must be destroyed so they never threaten us again. Goodbye, elephant creature. Alright, so... But obviously, doing what the, uh, what the queen has told us is probably the smart thing to do. I kind of want to kill some Jirao as well. And there's just some the way guards standing about.
What are you doing here? Attack nearest. Someone is still shooting at us. That battle was a bit of messy. I think we survived. Oh, battle cleric is still alive. of them. Thanks, but that's not what I wanted to do actually. I was kind of looking to loot some stuff here, but let's also level up as a also. Rest is still in place. All right, concentration of 20. Do some spellcraft. And let's get a point in lore. Alright, so we get another level 2 spell. Anything useful in here that I would like? In invisibility sounds kind of nice. That would allow me to really uh, mess with enemy spell casting. I mean, getting knock would also be kind of neat. Yeah, I have the ring, but... Now let's go for the utility of invisibility. And we get a level 3 spell. Hmm. Alright, what would be most useful here? What does this do again? Hmm, I mean, it's useful, but... Collectively, clarity. That means mm. 
displacement. In getting fine traps. And it's probably better as a utility spell than I can bring up a slot on the other end. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, another one of these. Hmm. I mean, improved invisibility sounds great. In which case, I probably shouldn't pick this one if I want to go for that. Uh, you again. Yeah. Let's give a little bit more diversity in my attack spells. Alright, improved invisibility. Yeah, that's probably fine. Do I want to exchange any other spells? Not specifically, no. Ghostly Visage will always be useful. Some way or another. So. Okay, and we can level up our familiar again. Homie and Queen is ready to talk to us again. Drow are defeated. The colony is safe once again. We re can return to our hive. Our debt to you is paid, elven creature. The hive owes you nothing. It is unlikely we ever meet again. Which is fine. Alright, some more stuff and tools. Holy water, just in case we run into something that can be harmed by it. I mean, undead creatures, obviously, but... Another harp. Alright. Your game. How many bards do you think I'm bringing along on this trip? I, mean, I think Deacon has been using the harps that I've been giving him, so... He does need new ones every now and then. That fire. The loot is kind of lackluster here. And I was kind of expecting also to find some stuff on the corpses of my enemies, but... Eh. We did not. Alright, let's also get our spells sorted out. Don't need this one anymore. So, what could be used for here. Uh, Ultra V, I'm an, I'm an elf, I don't need that. Um, Hung Burst, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? A little bit more diversity in my attacks. Rest up. Right, next level will be taking a bit longer. But we are pushing up nicely. Yes. Let's stop and talk for a moment. Yeah, folks shrugs. I'm not one for words, but if you wish to talk, we can talk. You said you came from Neverwinter. I'm not originally from Neverwinter, but you are correct. I was there during the time of the Wailing Death, a deadly plague that swept the city. I journeyed with the great hero of Neverwinter, and I played a small part in bringing the city of the evil that plagued it. Hmm. I remember hearing about you. You're quite famous. Really? 
That's surprising. The truth is, my own role in saving the city was a minor one. Hardly anyone in the city was even knew who I was. However, I was given a substantial reward by Lord Nasher, the city's ruler, for my efforts. But even with my wealth, I could not find happiness in Neverwinter. Why not? Maybe it was my heritage. Many of the Ufgard tribes had joined in the attacks all in Neverwinter. People looked at me with suspicion and hate. Being a half-orc only made it worse. But I think it was something else as well. There's something wrong with Neverwinter. It's a city that destroyed its own spirit. A city betrayed, a city that turned against itself. You're talking about Lady Erebeth, aren't you? Yes. Her and her lover, Fenthic. He was executed by Lord Nasher because the mob called out for blood. But his only crime was being blinded by his desperate need to help save the city. Fenthic's death led to Arabeth's betrayal. She turned its back on one of she loved, and she responded in kind. Arabeth represented everything good about Neverwinter, but when she fell, a part of the city's spirit died. The city still stands, but some wounds are slow to heal. Perhaps that's why I left. Hmm. Where did you go after that? I returned to my home, the lands of the Red tri Tiger Tribe of the Uthgard people. The Master Barbarian gives a forlorn sigh. Maybe it would be best if we continue this discussion at a later time. I'd rather keep my mind focused on surviving Under Mountain right now. Alright, so. We leveled up, so. Deacon, what are you now? At level 3, dragon, Red Dragon Disciple. Not bad. So, that has given him Dragon Breath. Dragon ability, so extra strength, iconic armor. The anything else? Mm, doesn't look it. What are you level topping? Yeah, you're just barbarian. Good. Uh, cleave, nice. Damage reduction, sure. Rate of rage, nice. You can do criticals with double axe. That's definitely showing. Uncanny Dodge 4. That's your barbarian, alright. Yeah, he's he's getting along quite nicely. Alright, let's move along. And not the cleric. So, how long does improved invisibility last? Uh, one turn per level. Total levels or uh, just the caster levels? That would either be 9 turns or 17 turns. One turn is seven, uh, 6 seconds. So a little short of two minutes. Uh, let's wait until we get into combat to cast that then. Ooh. We meet again. Somehow I knew we would. How did you know where to find me? I've been watching for you, for you here. I knew you'd have to come this way eventually if you wanted the free Halaster. I've been scouting the area, and I came across a large encampment of Valjurist forces near here. If you take this bridge, you'll be walking right into them. Thanks for, for the warning. I'll be careful. Else. There's more. The Zara set up a pair of ballista on top of the ridge behind their camp. If you take them head on, they'll use the ballista to smash it to bits. There's a way you can sneak past the camp and get to the ballista unseen. They can use their own weapons against the rest of the camp and rain death down on them from above. The Rao can be formidable opponents. We should take adva any advantage we can get. Deacon likes this plan, boss. Gives them nasty drows a big surprise. Just follow the narrow corridor to the north. It seems to lead to a dead end, but there's actually a secret passage that will take you right to the ballista. Thanks for the information. I have to go now, Medeza, unless there's something else. That's all. Thanks for the warning. Goodbye, Medeza. And good luck. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. 
With those words, Nathira, this appears back into the shadows. Yeah. yeah. Let's stop and talk for a moment. You're a bit different from when I first met you. Have you already done this? You mean now that dragon, he can be dragon disciple? Yeah, lots different. Deacon feels really strange sometimes. Strange how? Oh, sometimes Deacon gets strange dreams. He flies around looking for cow to eat. Deacon feels really strong and angry and even got stinky breath. When Deacon awakes, sometimes his skin feels really hot. He looks at the boss, even. But I think, aha, puny of a mortal, even though Deacon not means it. Just make sure you control these urges, Deacon. You know, you're not scuffed, but swear he's boss. Deacon controls everything's okay. Deacon likes it, actually. It makes Deacon feel good. You can just hope he not burps and um, breathe fire or something at the wrong moment. Deacon wouldn't want to um, singe the boss or anything. I'm glad you're enjoying your process. Progress. Thanks, boss. Yeah, being a dragon disciple is kind of awesome, but you definitely be very careful. Alright, thanks to uh, Nathira, we are able to see what is going on. Let's head around to the hidden tunnel. Now, I do believe there are some tra potential traps around here. Oh. So, Deacon is wondering something. You is part orc? Yes, that is true. You can see lots of orcs before. You look a little like them, maybe, but not whole lots. I'm also partly human, the product of the violence against my tribe. Who the others have heard of such couplings coupled? The kind raids have made raids as much as the orcs ever have. Couples not, do not do such things. You cannot think couples able to do such things. Perhaps your kind is simply too different from other humanoid races. What master says Kobold's got dragon blood. Though, um, he not actually says that in a happy way. Dragon blood is strong. You should be proud of that. And draw strength and courage from it, little one. You is kind of neat. He can likes you. Maybe he pencils you into boss's epic story as sidekick. I would be honored. <laughs> That's very humble of you, Dalen. <clears throat> Let us continue. Enough distractions as there is. I mean, I'm expecting at least one drow to be on the lookout for someone sneaking behind them. Ooh, there's a beholder. It's an easy rating, alright, immune to critical hit, immune to knockdowns, is it immune to acid? No it is not. Alright, could you please go attack it? I don't think I will be able to hold it off forever, although it does, it does seem like I have We killed it before it was able to do anything particularly dangerous. Oof, well that's one thing down. I guess we could have avoided it if we were a little bit more careful. In any case, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy my content, please rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.